Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barel with episode three, Tres. Okay, so make sure you see the other episodes <clears throat> um, before this, uh, the one how I took it apart, how I made the holes, and now we're going into what are we going to do to cover these holes. Now, I'm going to do a separate episode for this because it's going to take some time. I'm not just going to patch it up. Like I said, you might not want to get the, you know, want this and just take it out, but I'm working on the cyborg version of this thing, so I'm going to be doing some neat, cool stuff with this, but uh, that'll be on another episode. So, we need to seal these damn holes right here, right? The ones that we made in the previous episode. Now, how are we going to do that? Now, you could use socks or pantyhose, pantelones or whatever. But I went ahead and went to Home Depot, I kid you not. And I got me one of these things, okay? These are, this is a screen, as you can see. But this is a little bit different than the regular screens. And believe it or not, I only found one. And it they gave it to me at 50% off because they didn't have... Um, uh, what do you call it? A, a closed version of this? This was open, so I went and took it, and I, you know, it was it was complete, but it just didn't have a wrapping, and I went and took it. So, guys, I urge you to get this. They have other ones that are like really square that you could see through, but it looks bad because it's not going to really shut it off. This one has like a shiny thing to it. So, and it also feels like something like some kind of Vaseline is on it or something. I can't explain it. I don't even know what it's called, but it's, it's a screen, you know, for the, for, uh, uh, they use it for doors, for windows, for whatever, but that's basically what you get. So I didn't need this big piece right here, but that was the only thing that was available. And I really loved the material and I needed to get this. So I went ahead and got it for four bucks, this whole thing. Okay, on eBay, you're going to get the shitty one. I recommend you go to Home Depot or even on eBay, but look up this thing. You know, look up for ones that you can't see. You could see through only if you go really close to it. But from far away, you could kind of, you know what I mean? Like, the holes aren't that big. And that's, you know, that's, that's what we're looking for. Okay, even though these holes are, you know, barely seen, it's still bad that I went ahead and cut uh, myself about these you know what is it like two three inches depends on how you made the holes and you fit it on and back of it but you see you could still see it so what I wanted to do is so what I'm doing is I'm gonna glue these two together and then you're gonna have it barely you know you could see through it easy but the thing is through here but well you don't need even to see through it because we're not putting that here uh, we're putting it in the holes so you're not going to be able to see through it from the outside It's going to look really really nice and I'm going to give you guys uh, Just to show you what I'm talking about So when you put them together, I don't know if you guys could see but you see that you can't really see anything And I didn't even cover the holes hold on one second here. Let me see here So you see, they come out really, really closed in and really nice and gives that a lot of depth. Now, this is what you're going to need. So you're going to need that. You're going to need possibly this. I mean, I don't really use these things, but, you know, last time, uh, the fumes from the soldering iron. Like I said, guys, I first time, I, I always work with soldering irons ever since I could remember. But in cheap plastic like this, it was my first time and I did a great job on it, I think. Uh, but uh, it was my first time working with it and I... There were so much fumes that you need something like this to cover, so I recommend getting that. Another thing I recommend right now, because it's cheap plastic, uh, this thing, is now you're going to need to use, to put these two together, you're going to need to glue them together, right, using a glue gun, and then glue gun it to the actual unit here uh, in the back, okay? So we're going to get into that right now. I'm going to try it. I'm going to get it for you, uh, show it to you how to do it. Now, this thing right here costs like $2. You could probably find it in the 99 cent store even, but it's about two bucks. It's a cheap thing. I didn't get a professional one like this because that's really all you need. It comes with two of these uh, cartridges right here, but I went ahead and got me a whole bunch just in case because I'm doing all kinds of creativity shit with this, especially the one... Uh, with uh, the, for the cyborg with you know all kinds of crap that I'm working with I'm gonna need this so you need something that's not too too you know b hard to you know do so I'm gonna go I'm gonna show you guys give me one second okay so now I left it on uh, you know on the hook it doesn't have much of a cord here so it's kind of hard to do so I'm gonna be the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put uh, hot glue on this and then I'm gonna sandwich this mofo with this one to make it one uh, really good one so we're gonna start right now there you go we're gonna just yeah 
here you go. We're gonna sandwich this baby right in. Be careful, this thing is extremely hot. But you know, my hands, I'm used to burns and shit. But uh, this is what it is. Now you could always put it right through. Now remember, you don't want to cover too much of it. But anyway, you're not seeing through it, so it doesn't really matter. So you could even go right over it. After you do it, you seal it. Start putting in, uh, you know, just mush it in there and see if you can get it to stick. Here you go, so I got one, but I'm still gonna run over this with some more. But you see, now these things, what's good about glue guns is it's totally removable. So even if you, let's say, put it on your table by accident, you know, you splash a little bit of it on or whatnot, you're still gonna be able to take it off because it's kind of like, hold on. I'm just gonna trying to really seal this up now take your time you know put it in and then just raise it a little and put it through and see what's what there you go just gonna just want to get a real real good seal on this baby here so we're gonna use one more cartridge you see I'm glad I got more cartridges of this thing because that's exactly what you want There you go, perfect seal. Just gonna go on the other side and do the same. Oh, okay, right on the sides here. There you go, perfect seal. On this side as well, we're gonna lift from every corner, we're gonna get it from every crevice. And now you see, there you go. Ooh, it's a little bit hot. Do it with gloves, get some gloves too. I never use gloves. Even when I do soldering work, you guys saw, I, I just don't care for it. But there you go, see? Now don't worry too much about this, as long as you keep this side good, okay, without anything. On this side, it doesn't matter. Uh, put some over it just to seal it really hard, and now you see it's completely sealed. And on this side, it's completely clean, and that's the side you want uh, facing the hole. So then you're looking and you see this, see I can't even look that much through it. I mean, when you put it through, you could see, but very rarely, but it becomes a solid black item right here, okay? So now you're going to do the same thing with this thing right here. So give me one second. Let me just uh, do this thing here. Uh-huh. Here we go. So you just want to do it like that, one line at a time, and then you smash it in. That's what you're doing. I'm going to show you guys right now. So basically, you do it like this, and you put the, you put it in in the first line, then you raise it, and then you just keep squeaking it, and then putting it, squeaking, you know, squeezing it, and then doing it again <coughs> on all sides until you get a perfect seal, okay? So I'm just going to do it this way. Ooh, this thing is hot. Okay. Now remember, anything that comes and it, it sticks too much or whatever, you can always peel it off. This thing peels off everything. You see, it just goes right off the second it dries up. So you just need to do that and you'll be fine. You see, like here, I don't want this. I could peel it right off. And then, of course, you could do some modifications by cutting. Let's say this thing is not even exactly. I'm going to cut that out. So I'm going to go right here. Just, uh, just you see right here, perfect seal right over here I'm just gonna go around here to just to get that baby in there going in uh -huh. okay there you go now we got oh a perfect perfect seal on both of them so we got two of these and this is what we're gonna use on the on the cheekies <laughs> on his cheeks like that so it's gonna go pretty fine into that so now we're gonna go into this so I do recommend getting also a pack of these they're only like a dollar twenty nine a dollar whatever so you have more shit to work with because you're gonna need it these things uh, I guess take a while to I mean take some sticking or <laughs> whatever it's called okay now as you can see I'm probably gonna need to cut it because you see how long this is I'm gonna need to actually probably shave some of this off give me one second 
as you can see, there's things like spider webs here. <laughs> They're all caught in here. So I'm just going bit by bit, like I told you guys, and just from every angle, try to cover it with a little bit of glue right on the metal there. Fake metal, of course, because it's all cheap plastic shit. So <laughs> you, now you don't want to cover the eyeballs, so I'm going to get into that in a second. But I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about right here. So, so far, damn. All right. Okay, we're going to put that here. So annoying. Oof, I'm going to have to clean this up afterwards. But see that? Perfect seal. Goes right in. Perfect seal. Put it all over. Now, you see this? You don't want to cover the eye, eye. So you put it right beneath it, and you're fine. Okay? The thing is, the reason you don't want to cover too much of it, and I'm going to tell you why right now, because when you're going to put that eye... Uh, socket in this thing it's supposed to go exactly beautifully into here so you always have to make sure you're not covering up um, you know certain holes or whatnot so for example this and this so I'm seeing right now give me one sec so as you can see I kind of made oops a mistake here so I fixed it because I needed to make uh, room for the hole. So always make sure you try to match that up, the visor, so you're not covering the screw holes where you're going to have to put that baby in. Okay, so right now I would say this is perfect. A perfect patch right here. And as you can see, everything looks really good on the sides here. You can see it. It looks incredible. So now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So we're going to take this one right here. Remember, face up where it's not dirty. And I have to make sure that I don't do the same mistake again. So I'm going to just walk away from that. There you go. So it's perfect. I could put it right here. So we're going to cut out a little bit of this. So see, you can just like estimate. And then if anything, you could just cut. And then, let me just see here. Just got to look here. Okay, so that's perfect because you don't want to cover up the holes. You want to make sure that there is room for the holes for the um, for the other crap. Here we go. Okay, so we did this. Okay, smashing that up. Let it dry a little. Now we're going to use this part here. <laughs> this thing's burning my hands. Uh-huh. looks here so far still have to hit the sides just want to make sure it's all covered yeah. so I'm going to need to use that too Ooh, this thing burns. <laughs> it's like, doesn't matter. I'm used to it. I'm used to it. All right. So I'm gonna need to use another piece. I cut it off. It was a little premature right there. What I did. But uh, let's see here. Oh no, it's sealed. Uh, maybe just one piece more. Yeah, I think it's sealed. But I'm just gonna do one more piece, just to give it that more deeper look. And I think, oh, so you see, when you peek through these holes, you're going to see a little bit of like a cloth look, and that's fine. That's exactly what you want. But at the same time, if you see like there's, like in this one, there's some holes, you know, the light holes that they have in the screen. So you could put another one on there, another patch just to give it, you know, a complete shut. You'll still be able to breathe through it. That's the beauty of this thing. So I'm just going to use another thing right here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so I'm going to use another one right here. So we're going to cut this baby out. Yeah, so I'm going to cut this. So like I said, you just, you know, you play around with it, screw around with it a little. But remember, when you when you put it together, then, you know, you got a real thick piece right here. And now I'm going to put this one, oof, um, in here. 
So I gotta put this one here. Okay, perfect. I found the I found it. Alright. There you go. And you're not covering the holes, so that's perfect. I'm just gonna. Now, this is totally optional if you guys want. I'm gonna process. Oh, oh. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. But um, this is totally optional if you guys want to do this. Hold on, let me just. So, as you can see, shut completely. So, we're gonna do another another layer possibly on this one we're gonna just see you know I'm just playing it by ear possibly now the thing is what I want to do is you see this part I haven't decided yet if I want to seal this with uh, possibly another you know this kind of patch right here to put just to give it a nice little you know kind of a feel I, I haven't decided. I might also put the voice changer in there. I don't know if I want to do this. I think I'm going to need some more space for the mouth, for the, uh, for the um, um, what do you call it, the microphone. So I don't know if I want to do this as of yet, but I think we're going to go for it. We're going to just seal it, just a very light uh, part right here, just to, mm, you know what? Nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave this open because I haven't decided yet if I want to put something in. And also, if I'm doing the voice changer, which I showed you guys, it's a big thing with a microphone right here. I'm going to need some room, so I'm going to leave this possibly wide open. So we're going to just do a piece right here more, uh, probably on each side. So give me one second, y'all. As I kind of see the problem here, what I should have done was cut them into equal pieces, but one like this and one like that. But it doesn't matter because, again, you could add that. And actually, I want more layers on that, too. So right now, I did them like this, right? Two of these. Now I'm going to do one like that going across and see how this baby looks just by putting it in. And look how beautiful it looks. So that's all we need to do. I'm just going to put a sealer on this baby right here. I'm just going to cut this and uh, glue this right in. So we're going to cut it like about here. And like this. Let me just see how this looks. Yeah. So we're going to go right across like that. Mm -hmm. Oof. Ooh, this thing burns like a bitch. All right, here we go. Hold on. I'm going to show you guys. Ooh, all right. Oop, see, another one. Lock and load. This is why it's good to have that. Okay, we're gonna do this same thing. I'm gonna need to do some cleanup on that afterwards. But guys, look at this. Look at that powerful seal. Now look at this. Looks amazing. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do some cleanup after that by removing all of these spider web thingies here. But everything looks pretty good right now. I'm just gonna put another um, another one of these. Oh, where's that damn thing? Ah, oh, here we go. I cut it. Just about a little piece here just to go across. Ooh, wow. Alrighty. So you're just cutting them loose, you're not even measuring anything. Just out of, you know, eyes and seeing how this thing works. Alright, so let's see how where this is. Okay, so that's on that. So we're gonna go across this way. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go like this. Catch that baby up, so you know what? We could cut a little bit on 
the sides here just to get it a feel. Here we go. All right, so we're going to seal this. There we go. That's what I love about working with hot glue. The fact that you could even remove it and do it again. It, you know, the mistakes aren't like soldering, for example. When you solder, yeah, you could do it again, but when you're making poking holes and stuff, whatever you did, you did. End the story. You know, there's no undoing it unless you get some fillers and stuff like that. It's, it's much harder. Where this thing, you could just simply peel off and you're good to go. So I would rather, you know, with plastic, it's always good to use uh, this kind of shit. There we go. Okay, let's uh, put that down here because I don't want this nastiness to get on me. And now we're going to look over here. So we're going to cut this right out. There you go. So whichever doesn't fit, you just yank out, cut, and you're good to go. No harm, no, you know, no problem. <laughs> Everything is good to go, and that's it. You're good to go. That's it. So that's pretty much it. Sealed it. Perfect. Guys, look at this. Amazing. Can't really see through it anymore. Now, again, you could put more layers if you want. I don't know if I want to. Maybe I will put another layer. Nah. I like it the way it looks right here. just want to see if I can breathe through this damn thing. Ooh. Okay, my face is burning because this thing has a trial. <laughs> Give it about 20 seconds, but... Wow. Okay, so you can breathe really well through this. So this is way better than what it was already. Now, I know what people are going to say. The visor is going to make it uh, sealed and it's going to be shitty because when you do that, you know, the visor actually makes it foggy and stuff. That's why we're not going to do it that way. So what we're going to do with the visor is we're pretty much going to do the same thing. But the thing is, because I want to keep... Where the hell is that damn thing? Give me one second. You guys found it. So, okay, so we sealed it. So now what... We could do is with this one, a lot of people don't want this, so you could pull it out if you want, and then just do this, and you could see right through it, and it looks really nice this way, you know, it looks really cool, you could double it, you could do whatever you want. The thing is, I'm not really much of a fan of that, because I want to make him cybernetic, and because I want to redo his character a little bit, what I'm going to do is, possibly, I'm going to put it on the outside right here just so nobody could see through and could see my eyes, you understand? So like when you go like this, nobody could see your eyes and that's the good part about it. So I'll probably just cover up this part right here and all the way around, I haven't decided yet, tune in next time and I'm gonna be showing you what I'm doing in terms of making him into a cyborg. So you guys are gonna definitely wanna see that in the next episode. Anyways, let me know what you guys think, like, subscribe, dislike, definitely subscribe, I mean, what? come on, really? You guys are gonna be the first ones to be alerted to this, of the series, I'm also doing other cool stuff in the series, like from, uh, you know, the lightsabers and all that and redoing completely his character with all that stuff, I'm doing all the reviews, I'm also gonna do a review about what do you guys should go with from Saber Forge or, uh, you know, um, Ultra Sabers? I'm going to tell you the difference between these two. And you'll know, you know, what's a good one that I think that will be good for you to buy. Now, again, I could repaint this. I'm probably going to lacquer this. But I'm not going to repaint it because I kind of like the way it looks. I really have no issue with it. Except maybe to ha give it a little bit of a shine. So we're going to do that and probably use a little bit of black paint. But just like really tap it around here just to give it that, you know, worn out look. Maybe even, uh, see, I would, I wish this was metal so then I could do acid, uh, acid treatment. But obviously that's, it's not metal. It's a cheap plastic with uh, chrome, which really sucks. But whatever, you know. So now, you know, the cleanup process, just, you know, simply take off all of the excess uh, glue that it looks like spider webs whatever it's a it's a bitch to pull out I really hate <laughs> uh, I love working with it and hate working with it I remember when I was doing sculpturing I had to do an entire cardboard I did um uh, out of cardboard this um, extinguisher and it was made in layers and it looked really cool but everything was like a freaking spider web so anyways let me know what you guys think like I said you could end it right now putting this in the eyeball and just taking out the visor and that's fine but I'm gonna show you guys something pretty sweet so I don't recommend you mess with that just yet till you see the next episode have a good one y'all take care bye